Due to the wintry weather, the 2019 Veterans Day ceremony was moved into the Alfred Rubin Riverwalk Community Center. But that didn't dampen the enthusiasm of the community. If this service would have been outdoors at the base of the Carillon, I'm sure that you would have had majority of these people would have been there anyway, regardless of the weather. The room was full of veterans, their families, and others who showed their support. Some who came are direct relatives of World War I veterans and continue to honor that legacy. We've had someone from the Bradley family that has served, Bradley or Haas, that has served in every conflict that the United States has been involved in. So it's a part of our family heritage. We came out to celebrate our great uncle who died in World War I. He's, his name was Eugene Berger. He died in France. Eugene Berger was one of seven Naperville World War I vets who died in the line of duty. The Naperville Healing Field of Honor Committee, Naperville American Legion, and Naperville VFW partnered up to host the event. The first portion of this event today was for the American Legion of VFW to recognize the veterans. And then at the halfway point, we, we discussed the healing field that paid honor to those veterans. They honored them by telling the story of two known Naperville vets, Oliver J. Kendall and Wynne Knock, who served in World War I. The sacrifices made by these vets and their families are worth remembering not just today, but all year round. Whether you support a local charity like Heart of a Veteran, or you take part in a big effort, a big nationwide effort, or you just shovel the driveway of the veteran across the street, make sure to show your gratitude and honor our military servicemen and women. Reporting for Neeperville News 17, I'm Aisha Ashley Hausa.